Hey, good morning, YouTube. So today, I will make an attempt in um, installing this uh, Nakamichi 9-inch car headrest monitor, okay? I got this uh, Nakamichi headrest monitor for a good deal from uh, Shopee, okay? Um, they had the 7-7 uh, seven, seven deal just recently on July 7th and um, this thing retailed at I don't know man like 8,000 something but uh, they put it on sale for like 6,000 so I, I grabbed the opportunity to do that so um, this is a, a standalone headdress monitor and stuff meaning to say that it doesn't really you don't really have to have it hooked up to a head unit um, this uh, will play, let me just read it off here, it will play um, USB, you know, if you have movies in it, uh, there's a plug-in for that, and there's a TF uh, card slot, and um, there's also a USB charger, okay, in case you need to, to um, connect to that, okay. Um, however, you will need a power supply, though, uh, from the vehicle, and um, that is one of the most challenging to me because um, I'm not really good with electronics and stuff. However, this thing re only needs like a 12 volts um, direct current, which is a DC. And the back over here in the um, second row of my uh, Fortuner, there's also a 12 volts plug here for cigarette lighter or, or, or anything like that that I could probably tap or let's not use that word tap and stuff but uh, I can probably pry this thing out and pull the wires and then hook the wires to this okay so that's the idea that's what I'm gonna try okay and um, we'll see what happens and the tools that I'm gonna be needing of course a multi-tester I at least have that you know in, even though I'm not really good with with that uh, with electronics and stuff I have a multi-tester and I also have some uh, micro screws just in case and I also have my um, <clears throat> multi-tool set right here okay it has prying tools and stuff like that that I know for sure that I'm gonna be needing and stuff to, to pop some of these um, you know like little panels and things like that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that however the first thing that I want to do is to have a look of how this thing is going to look like up there because that part is easy okay um, I want to visualize how it's gonna go and then I'm gonna run the wire and stuff okay and uh, you know that would probably motivate me to finish the job or not quit or whatever because I can see it already. And so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? All right, so <clears throat> let's unbox this. I literally just woke up because I, I couldn't sleep too well with this hanging on my mind and stuff. All right, so this is the unit this comes with adapters to fit this however the one that they already have might already be good so let's just try that see this is a nine inch screen it's 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 very very nice man and so um, that's the wiring that I will be connecting to the wiring that's attached to the power and stuff so first you need to uh, fold this thing downwards okay and that's how it's going to look like and this thing right here will adjust to the distance okay and um, I can already tell that the uh, adapter that they have here is too small and stuff so let me go pick out the one that might fit so in order to do that you have to remove the headrest okay 
So once you remove that, you can figure out which one of these adapters will, will fit. Just take all these things out. There's too many. So let's look for one that will fit. Okay, I found one right away. So this one right here is, there's no size, but uh, I don't know, man. It looks like a half an, you know, like half an inch or something like that. So let's see if there's a tighter fit. Oh, even a tighter. Yeah, this one right here is exactly what I need. That won't fit. So I have to find a partner for this. There you go. So these two right here are snug, which is perfect. Okay, let's see if there's two of these things. Just in case I need to uh, raise it up. That's too loose, that's too tight. That's too tight, too tight. Too tight, too loose, that's the partner for that tight and too tight all right so there's only one that's fine just in case I need the other the, the one that's pretty loose I mean a little bit loose I can keep that just in case I need to uh, raise it up a little bit or something all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the one that's here okay so that I won't be messing around with the uh, monitor too much or the, the, the head, yeah, the headers monitor too much. I can just remove this thing for now and attach it later because I might drop it or something. So just get that bad boy out of the way. We don't need that right now. Just know the position, okay? So that's the position that's going to go. And so I will need to remove this. So just pull this thing out, pull it out, and then slide this thing out. And then slide the new one in okay how it went in and that's how it should come out okay so I got that out of the way and so I'm gonna put that back so I don't get lost in the process and then I'll pull this other one okay and then replace that with this one okay okay round round just follow the the pattern okay put this thing away okay so I put this thing back okay so right there so this is positioned like this so I just need to find that perfect distance there you go So now I can put this thing back, okay? And there you have it, okay? So, with that fitting snugly over there, it's not gonna move left or right, or actually it can, but just a little bit, but it's not gonna come off what I need, okay? So we get that in there. And so we can have a look, putting this thing back in there. Okay, and then lock it in place. Okay, so now that thing is not going anywhere. Let me raise this thing up a little bit more. Just be careful when you pull this thing out and forgot that you have a monitor here. You know, it's kind of hard to forget because you can see it, but some people might just adjust this thing from the front and they don't realize that you, got a, you have a monitor right here and it's gonna fall, okay? so. Let's get that in there. Let me adjust this thing a little bit more. Okay. Okay, so once you have that locked there, you can go ahead and, and tilt this thing up a little bit. And that's it, guys. So that is how it's going to look like. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there for now. And uh as you can see, I'm trying to visualize where my wire is going to go. So I have this much distance. Okay. I'm going to have to tuck this thing in inside. Here somewhere. 
and the harness that I will need to install is right here okay and these two right here will, will connect and then I will have power okay so that's it guys that is as far as the um, installation of the headrest itself to the headrest basically okay so I will figure out the power in a little bit okay so I'll talk to you later Okay. So this is the middle console and I opened it up from the back. It's just you just need a prying tool and you really gotta put some muscle into it. I didn't break anything. I still you know I, I used a lot of uh, um, strength but I didn't break anything so that was uh, I was pretty careful about that. And once you got that a little bit open, you will be able to undo the wire that's attached to the uh, socket back here okay you just it's just a snap a typical snap you just press that and it will release it okay so this one right here is the 12 volts okay it has two wires a, a white and a red or a, a white with a black stripe and a red and that is what i will hook up to the harness right here so you can see this is my red and this is my black you know i'll try to hook that up there okay I don't know if I will totally disengage the uh, the socket um, or just uh, use this one or, or you know like totally disengage it or tap it so I don't know what I'm gonna do right now okay so before I cut it I will tap into it okay and we'll see what happens okay so I will tap that there and then see if it's going to run the the um, the screen, and then um, I will make a decision whether to totally disable this or just uh, leave it. Okay, so we'll see what happens. Okay. All right, guys. As you can see, we're all hooked up right now um, temporarily. Okay. So um, I figured before I tap the wire or cut through the wire, let me just uh, hook it up there. I tested it already. There's a voltage coming out of there. So I'm going to test that out and uh, see how it goes, okay? Let me show this thing to you. As you can see right there, guys, that thing powered on right away so it's blue now there you go if you don't see the screen it's starting up right there boom so we have power all right guys so here's the decision Okay, first of all, there's a lot of things that comes into my mind, okay? So now, if I would just tap this and then attach this, okay, then I can still use the socket, okay? The problem is that if I have the socket here, sometimes my, kid, my kids, they put stuff in that socket, okay? They either... Uh, put clays in there, put trash in there, this thing and that. You know, it would be bad if they pour some liquid in there, okay? And uh, I don't know if that's going to happen, but if it does happen, not only that it's going to screw up the uh, socket up here, but it will also ruin the, uh, or it will make 
much worse, you know, cause of fire on the, on the, if, if I have, the, I have also this thing tapped in there or whatever. Okay. So might cause a short circuit or whatever. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but I think the, um, the best way to do for me is to just cut this and then attach this. And, um, if I do decide later on down the road, if I want to reactivate that socket, then I will just, uh, add this thing in there or whatever but uh i think i think that's the decision i'm going with and so i will cut this and then solder these these two these these two wires and then just be done with it and stuff okay so that's exactly what i'm gonna do okay and then now that that's cut i'm gonna put this thing back here where it belongs right here where it belongs and be done with this okay so this thing is no longer energized so that's done and I can use this wire right here for this reason for for this uh for this uh gadget okay so i'm gonna solder that All right, guys, we have installed it. And um, as you can see right here, I've already have the power on standby. And um, I'm gonna do is, uh, let me just remove this already because it's already uh, ripped anyway, okay? And so I have the power on standby. You press that. And uh, it's turning on right now. And uh, as you can see, I have the uh, USB attached to it. And let's go click the USB. And uh, let's pick the movie for the kids. There you go. And um, obviously, I have the uh, standby for the uh, external audio and video here okay but you know I, I couldn't tuck that in there because I don't want to because I might use it later so um, yeah I'm just gonna leave it like that okay so um, the wire is stuck inside the uh, the cover and uh, it's right here so um, I think it's pretty clean installation and stuff and uh, you know until next time bye